Hi guys, in today's video I want to answer on you the most asked question, whether your PC is good for AE or not, and what you have to upgrade first to run After Effects smoothly. Also you often mention that, why my AE runs so smooth while yours is very laggy, and today I will try to answer and explain everything as I can. First of all let's jump to Adobe's official website and see what do they recommend for a smooth workflow and then I will answer on your questions. On Adobe's official website, we have a minimum and a recommended requirements to run AE, and I want to mention that, if you are a full-time editor, or you are planning to be, do not look at minimum requirements. Everything's written under it, won't run AE smoothly even in 720p composition with the minimum effects. It doesn't mean you won't be able to run AE, sure you can run it with those specs, but it will make you nervous. Believe me, I started from a trash PC and upgraded too many things to understand what works better. Now let's check what Adobe recommends us for smoother workflow. They recommend 11th Gen Intel and AMD Ryzen 3000. Those CPUs are not bad, and if you are already an owner of one of them, I wouldn't worry about upgrading your CPU. I can't tell anything about AMD, but 11th generation Intel is not that bad. It can handle 1080p edits with bunch of effects and 4K as well, but with fewer effects. 4K is so hard for CPUs even for my i7 14th generation. So, should you upgrade your CPU as a full-time editor? As a full-time editor I would say yes. If you are going to make money out of your edits, do not save that money anymore, go and get better CPU today. I would change Adobe CPU recommended list with an Intel i7 14th gen and above. Do not buy 11th gen if you are working as an editor. If editing the videos is just your hobby, then you are welcome, you can get any CPU from the 11th generation. But again, if you are working as an editor, save some money and get high-end CPU. The more cores and threads CPU has, the better it will be. Now let's jump to the most interesting that Adobe recommends under a RAM. 16GB of RAM for 1080p edits and 32GB of RAM for 4K and higher. I agree with their numbers, it's enough, but AE is always hungry and wants more, so I would recommend getting more RAM. For the moment I have 32 gigabytes of RAM and in a 4K composition with bunch of effects, my RAM is fully occupied by AE in minutes. So, should we upgrade RAM for more? I think yes, but, if you have 32 gigabytes or 64, do not hurry with upgrading, better focus on a high-end CPU. Now the most interesting part, a GPU. Under a recommended we see here 8 gigabytes of GPU memory and I can confirm it's enough for After Effects. After Effects don't use GPU that much, it uses only when you render your video or working with 3D, but if you just edit videos, GPU is not required that much. For example if you have RTX 3050 with 8GB, or any other normal GPU do not upgrade it for After Effects. Again, focus on a high-end CPU. I would recommend to get more RAM instead of getting GPU. Upgrade GPU at the very last place. Now let's jump to storage. They recommend SSD with high speed and it's normal if you have a casual SSD, I wouldn't worry about it much. But if you can upgrade, I would recommend getting M2 NVMe drives. For the display they recommend 1080p or greater. It's also normal if you use 1920 by 1080 monitor, do not worry about it too much and do not upgrade it as well. So here is the list I would recommend upgrading first. Note, I show you this numbers and PC components from my own experience. I'm not an expert at PCs. I just share with you my experience with editing as a full-time editor. Once again, if editing is just a hobby, you don't need to spend crazy money on these PC parts. But if you work as an editor and make money from what you love, then go ahead. I can confirm my words, these PC parts are minimum you should go with. If you can save more, save and spend on better PC parts. The more you put, the more you will receive. Mac users, huge sorry, but I have no idea which Mac to get and I can't recommend you anything. I have never used Mac, but I believe Mac is way better than PC in terms of smoother editing. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I wish all of you a smoothest workflow in After Effects.